while it may sound cliche, the most potent action steps toward balanced, healthy brain chemistry is exercising, eating well, and stop doing drugs. We have to get off all drugs. They're all bad for us. We'll review the scientific literature for the most widespread drug misuses. Caffeine is a psychoactive drug influencing brain chemistry. Its chemical name is 137-trimethylxanthine, and it looks like this. As long ago as 1900, in the Journal of American Medical Association, JAMA, reported on coffee as a beverage, its deleterious effects on the nervous system, at which the contributor complained that most physicians had given the subject little, if any, attention. A study supported by the Swiss National Science Foundation found that caffeine impairs deep sleep and causes delayed brain development. The medical journal Clinical Psychology reports that this psychoactive drug alters behavior and detrimentally affects memory. From the journal Neuroscience, caffeine depletes dopamine production and is connected to psychosis. Neuroscience and Behavioral Reviews publishes a study that reveals caffeine as an addictive reinforcing agent, actively influencing the prefrontal cortex. Four caffeine-related disorders exist in psychiatry's diagnostic coding. This study links caffeine to psychoses, anxiety disorders, sleep disorders, and schizophrenia. Neuropsychopharmacology reports that caffeine causes altered brain chemistry and even gene damage. The archives of general chemistry show caffeine involved in anxiety disorders, panic disorders, social phobia, and panic attacks. Refined white sugar is a drug, a man-made chemical that does not exist in nature. Medical journals indict white sugar as addictive and altering the limbic system of the brain. There are numerous ways that white sugar causes disease and altered brain chemistry. Not all of them are surely known. One of the best known, as explained at wikipedia.com and reported in the medical journal Neuroscience, is sugar's depleting brain-derived neurotropic factor, or BDNF, which is vital for memory, higher thinking, and survival of brain neurons. In the journal Diabetologia, white sugar damages our ability to regulate blood sugar and is implicated in hypoglycemia, metabolic syndrome, and diabetes. Trends in neuroscience report of white sugar's damaging effects on the brain chemical BDNF and is linked with depression, obsessive-compulsive disorder, Alzheimer's disease, Huntington's disease, and Rett syndrome. Schizophrenia and white sugar are definitively linked. And white sugar is clearly linked to clinical depression and anxiety. Let's review this. Caffeine, sleep disorder, reduced dopamine, abnormal brain development, memory impairment, schizophrenia, anxiety disorders, neuron death, and eating disorders, and addiction. Sugar, metabolic disorders, reduced BDNF, diabetes, depression, obsessive compulsive disorder, Alzheimer's, schizophrenia, anxiety, and addiction. This is your brain. This is your brain on sugar and caffeine to one degree or another. Other drugs have similar effects on brain chemistry. And remember that all the effects aren't even known. But we know for certain this. Pushed, prescribed, or peddled at the local cafe, drugs do not belong in our body. We have to work to live free of them, independent and strong. When is chemical dependency ever anything but bad? To sum it up in very unscientific terms, drugs make our brains go wacky and dizzy from going up and down. Drugs poison the system, 
and deplete our ability to make good, healthy chemicals that lead to peaceful and joyful life. We are designed to live a peaceful, joyful life, and all we have to do is return to our natural state with natural foods, with natural chemicals, and go out and get some natural exercise. We were made to eat right, to walk and dance and move. Get back to the basics, and you'll be amazed at how your life becomes beautiful and vigorous.